Hey guys, this is LOL Tuggle OP coming to you with the, another commentary video. Uh, today we'll be playing Vayne, as you can see here. Um, I decided to do a Vayne video due to a couple comments, a couple uh, people asking me to. So uh, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. I go 21-9-0 on the Masteries. I take three points <clears throat> in Warlord, two points in Devastating Strikes, and one in Frenzy. Uh, after that, for the runes, I went uh, two attack speed quints, one AD quint. I went AD reds, armor yellows, six attack speed blues, and three MR blues. Um, the reason why I decided to go this way is because uh, I've been doing a little bit of research, been looking around, and uh, I personally, you know, I'm all about the Korean hype train, and uh, I do like Piglet a lot, and I just basically took his runes, took his masteries, and uh, I've been using them for my own. Uh, as far as what to level up on Vayne first, I like to start, I like to start Q. Uh, after Q, I go W, and then level 3, I go E, and then I'll take, uh, I'll get a maximum of 3 points in W, and then I'll max Q after that, and then go W, then E. Um, for this matchup right here, uh, it's, actually for this whole game, I was kind of skeptical, because if you look at our team comp, we have a Heimer top, and I have a Malphite support, and... I was just not happy about this. I was like, man, I was like, this Malphite's probably just gonna sit in lane. I'm gonna die a lot. You know, this is this just isn't looking good. Um, but he he went and proved me wrong. Uh, you see here, we're just trading a little bit. Uh, I don't I don't think I had to heal there. I think I would have been fine. But <clears throat> uh, this whole game, I was like, man. We're just gonna do poorly. We're not gonna win. It's gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna lose more LP. I'm gonna cry. But uh, Sivir thought she had a potential kill. Wasted her flash there. Malphite getting out with a sliver of HP. Um. But yeah, I was like, man, this game just is not gonna go pretty. You know, Heimer top versus a Jace. We got Ari and LeBlanc, which is a huge skill matchup. Which, as you can see here, Ari LeBlanc. Oh, okay, never mind. Ari LeBlanc just did work. And Vi with the uh, with the incoming assist, just in case, you know, just for the backup, just for the secure. Um, but you know, Wukong, you know, this is how I envisioned the game going. I envisioned it going to be like Wukong's gonna stealth in, he's gonna do his combo, Ari's gonna follow up, Jace's gonna follow up, Silver speeding everybody up, and we all just gonna die. And I mean, you know, we, you know, we don't. We don't really have a tank. I mean, yeah, I guess Malphite could build a tank. Vi's gonna go Bruiser, but we got three Squishies all together with me, LeBlanc, and Heimerdinger. So, uh, it's just something that wasn't looking favorable in Champ Select. But as you can see here, we have Vi coming in for the gank, but it's warded, so not gonna be able to get the gank off. Um, this matchup typically is going to be better for Vayne. Because uh, Sivir can only really spell shield one thing, and that's uh, the Condemn from Vayne. And right here, uh, Malphite just letting me free farm. Uh, I could go up and trade with him, but I'm so low it's not even worth me trading. I see Vi coming in for the gank, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to just you know attack the closest person next to me. That was a really good hook by the, uh, by the Thresh, but we end up getting the kill. And then as you can see here, just LeBlanc trading. Just letting the directed camera do its thing. I guess everybody's trading right now. Um, so you know, we get the kill. I get an assist. That helps me out. I've got 1200 gold. And knowing me and the way I play, uh, I'm probably gonna be really greedy and wanna stay just to get uh, build water colors. I like to go, um, like to start off with Bort first into Shiver PD. And quick shout out to Milk and Cookies, please. Um, I didn't know. I, okay, I knew that Phantom Dancer and Shiv 
was a very situational uh, a very situational item. And previously in my Jinx commentary video, I said that uh, I said that I only go Shiv if uh, I'm super far behind. <clears throat> and even then, I'll sometimes try to go for Phantom Dancer first. But after talking a lot with milk and cookies, please, um, we ca I, I ca kind of came to the realization after she helped me that uh, Shiv and PD, PD should be bought for champs who are consistent damage. So somebody like a Caitlyn, um, or you know, like Bane. But there's also reasons, you know, where you should go for Shiv. And those reasons would be like if you're a burst champ, so like Lucian uh, is really good with it. Uh, that's like the only one that can come to my mind right now. I think I want to say I go Shiv this game just for this reason here. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be getting behind, but if you look at our team comp, we have a Heimerdinger and a LeBlanc. So we're not gonna be have we don't have that much wave clear. So I'll be taking if if I recall correctly, I wanna say I go static shift this game just so I can help with the wave clear. But uh, as you can see here, I get gank, I got the heal. Um I have no idea how I survived there. That was uh it was a good TP. That was a really good flash by the fresh. Uh, flash Q from the buy finished him off. Um, I have no idea where I was at. I think I was like up here, like trying not to die. So uh, we just traded three for none. We're gonna get a free dragon off of that. Um, the reason why I'm still here is because this huge minion wave. Uh, I didn't want those four minions to live here, and then it just you know gets slow pushed into the turret right here. So Sivir would pick up that huge wave. The re I stayed there and uh, pushed the wave out so that the wave would bounce back. So she not only did she die, and I got a bunch of gold for that, but the wave uh, pushed here. Like it went to the turret and it bounced back. So now it's slow pushing back to me. So I denied her uh, probably about a wave, a little over a wave's worth of EXP and gold. So that helped me out. Um, tremendously. So as you can see here, uh, I got three assists. Um, my CS is really terrible, but I ended up <clears throat> being able to get a uh, bilge water cutlass and an attack speed dagger on my first back. So I was happy. That's a uh, that's that's a really good back. If you can if you can ever back and get a cutlass, that's really good. So uh, as you can see here, just showing the I guess gold discrepancy for like three assists compared to none, like nothing. Yeah, she's out farming me, but I have 300 gold on top of that, on top of her. Um, as far as if we could fight here, uh, I just kind of let Malphite do his thing. I mean, I know I only have a bilge water cut list, and I see that he doesn't have his ult, and I don't have mine. Oh wait, JK, I have mine. Uh, I saw that he doesn't have his ult, so I was like. I didn't really want to fight there, and they, these minions are just like doing so much damage to me. But uh, when he was fighting them on his own, I just wanted to use that time to just get free CS, and that wave wave was huge. So I just went ahead and took advantage of that. Um, yeah, typically that's. I'm so bad. So, it, uh, for a quick little trick, uh, something that I kind of found out while like trying it and seeing if it was a bug, but it, it's like actually a thing. Is as you see here, uh, we're actually we gonna get off the gate, and I'm gonna die. That's beautiful. So, a uh, little trick is when you're playing. Uh, Vayne, and you get, oh, okay, so when you're playing Vayne, and you have two procs of Silver Bolt on somebody, then you, uh, if you press E, 
and you condemn them, it uh, if you can get them onto a wall, it'll stun them also. But uh, condemning them after having two procs of your W will uh, proc the third one. So like you can get a stun and potentially get the third uh, proc of your true damage. And Jace here going going in hard. He sees Heimer's out of out of a uh, manage, so he <laughs> he's out of mana. So he goes in and just destroys. And then right there, Ari kind of got. Uh, I think Ari could have killed her, but because Vi showed up, that was really good by her. And really good by LeBlanc for staying alive. Uh, as you can see here in bot lane, I think I'm just free farming. I uh, picked up my recurve bow. I'm on my way to getting a uh, Blade of the Rune King because that's typically the first item you want to uh, build. I guess here, uh, it, it would not have been a bad decision for me to go BT just because they don't really have that many uh, tanks. So BT probably could have been an option, but I just, I guess I wasn't thinking, or uh, I just wanted to get bored here. So, um, to critique the builds, I guess looking at everybody's builds right now, uh, the Sivir, if she backed and was able to get the, uh, let's see what this is called, the Zeal, if she was able to get Zeal after backing, it would have just been better for her to grab a pickaxe. Or if she really wanted to like build into Shiv, it'd just be better for her to get the Avarice Blade. Because it's the passive 2 gold per minion. And I mean, as Sivir, you're just going to be pushing waves. So it's going to help you out a lot. Um, but it, it w in my opinion, it would have just been smarter for her to either go Pickaxe or Avarice Blade. In that situation. And uh, as you see here, I mean... This Malphite pick <clears throat> was actually turning out to be really good. He's been, uh, I guess he's been allowing me to free farm a lot. As you can see, he's just like going in there, he's queuing the Thresh, and then he just walks out. Uh, it looks like he's maxing Q first and then E second. So, uh, if y'all want a Malphite support, don't take it into rank your first time, but it does seem to be doing good. Uh, instant condemn, flash away, and I mean his his ult just basically stopped the Wukong from being able to kill me. Uh, right here, oh she could have had him. I'm going back in. Vi is about to try to. Okay, Vi gets a kill. LeBlanc comes back in. So you know we just dive them four man, four man bot. So that was really good on us. Uh, kind of sucks right here. Uh, Vi gets caught out. Transfer buff. But, um, I mean, you know, just giving me time, basically, like, me not dying and being able to survive these ganks, and even though they're just assists, it's giving me, uh, time to scale up. And right here, I'll definitely have 700 gold. So you can see I got 1600, so I'll be able to go get a BF. Or, <laughs> not a BF, my Blade of the Ring King, sorry. Kind of out of it at the moment, I guess. Um... Yeah, let's take a look at everybody else's build. Vi's going for a Triforce. Heimerdinger is doing damage on Jace. Uh, I honestly thought... Uh, I mean, he's got him pushed uh, in top lane. He's got pressure on the top side. So, I mean, I guess that's all I can ask for. I mean, I don't really expect anything you know, too huge from a Heimerdinger. So... Uh, as you can see here, dragons up. So we're just, I guess, putting out wards. And I'm just gonna keep going bot lane. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna keep going bot lane. We're not really gonna be grouping right now, and I mean, bot lane is just so free. So it'd just be best for me to just keep going here. And they have a ward there. Uh, I think it probably would have been smarter for them to just, yeah, to just run earlier. She, uh, she supposed to shielded my condemn. I was so late to that fight that it would have just been better for me to farm the huge wave that was near my turret instead of not getting an assist and not 
getting the wave. That was just a poor decision on my part. We could dive her so easy right here. Yep, all he had to do is take. I didn't even have to ult. All he had to do is take the tower aggro and she was dead as you can see. Uh, we have poor Heimerdinger's got a three man. Is he gonna. <laughs> that ult. That was pretty funny. So, I think for that we should be able to get mid there. I know we'll get bot lane for sure. So. Uh, I mean, as you can see there, I'm just attack, moving, orb walking, whatever you want to call it, kiting. Uh, I mean, from here, uh, I've got so much gold on this Sivir. She's, I mean, not only does she get countered in lane by Vayne, but she, her, her build path is just so inefficient. Like, that zeal is not doing her any good. Like, if she, like, think, if she had an Averse Blade and she was farming that, then she she could probably have I don't know an extra 300 gold maybe you know that's it's not much but I mean it's doing more than this zeal is doing for her in my opinion um you I know mean, I guess it's pretty standard builds coming from the mid lane let's see Vi's going for her Triforce I'm not sure what Wukong's building into right here that's um yeah, I have no idea what he's gonna build into, but you know we got the mid. Yeah, we got the mid turret. So, I mean, you know, I think this is probably like my biggest weakness is, uh, I just like to farm, and I mean I like to farm until late game, where I'm like you know five six items and then just come in, have good positioning and then just win the team fight. That's that's per personally you know my favorite style of play. Uh. I guess as you can see here, we traded one for one support for a jungler. But I guess we get to keep the pressure, so that's kind of worth it. Um, the donger. Doing donger things. <laughs> uh, so, uh, let's go ahead and speed this up. There's not really too much going on here. This looks like a bunch of farming. Malphite looks like he's going to get caught, but he's so tanky that... They're not really going to be doing anything to him. Stopping the backs. Uh, transfer and blue buff. With Wukong backing here. See, er, Dragon's been up for a super long time. And with Wukong deciding to back this then, that gave us a free... Wow, we almost lost that Dragon. <clears throat> with him backing at that particular time, uh, that gave us a free Dragon. Because they don't have their smite and we have ours on our side and then uh we're grouped as five for the most part no neither one of us are grouped as five i'm totally out of it sorry about that guys um heimerdinger is just putting pressure top lane we're just pressuring mid lane and oh okay well forget what i said i thought i was gonna go shiv this game but i guess i decided to go f I guess it would make sense because we're winning the game right now, and oh my gosh, that was such a good ult. I take so much of that turret. <laughs> I don't know what that flash was for, uh, but um. I guess I was so far ahead in gold that I just went ahead and bought Phantom Dancer instead of buying Shiv. If I, if we were, if I was not this far ahead, like if my mouth fight support wasn't four and zero, oh, like if we were losing or if we were even, I would probably go Shiv just because they could push so much, and I would need some kind of wave clear. As you can see, Vi is doing the damages. She got that Triforce completed. I still have no idea what this Wukong is building. Maybe Hydra? Maybe. Not too sure. I'm just kind of pushing turrets. I mean, that that's like... That's what I just love to do. I just like being able to push push turrets, farm. Just win objectively. Um, They are very far. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
the donger doing damages. So they traded one for one. That was good. Um, let's see. Traded one for one, and we get mid turret. So that was definitely worth it. Um, I mean, at this point, this game's basically over. <laughs> the Malphite support did so. Malphite did, uh, like, super good during laning phase. Uh, we might not have team fought, like, 2v2 a lot, but the fact that he was just letting me able, like, he was pressuring them so much that I was just able to free farm, uh, that helped me out a huge, uh, helped me out a lot, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and then that, and we were just getting so so many games, like everybody was coming bot lane, and this game would have actually been really good for them, but I, it was, it would have been good for them had they been able to kill me bot lane, and you know, me just doing my thing, getting shut down, you know, that va famous vein spotting, you know, I think I got about like 20 points there, uh, but we got pressure top. So I guess that's good. Um, yeah, Malphite had so much pressure during the laning phase. I got free farm, and me living from me not dying from all those ganks like bot lane like really saved us. So that uh, wow, that uh, that kept that allowed us to not fall behind, especially in my lane, because if you look at this, uh, Sivir just completed her Infinity Edge at 23, 24 minutes. Um, I'm super far ahead, like, she's nowhere near me as far as gold goes. Like, if she just stayed, if she went pickaxe first or avarice blade, I'm telling you, it would have saved her. Poor Heimer Danger is about to get found in the bush. Oh, okay, hey, you live. That's cool. Um. I mean, from here on out, I mean, we could just, honestly, we could take Baron because we have a Heimerdinger. He just sets the three turrets down, by tanks it, Malphite tanks it. Um, I mean, right here, there honestly isn't anything for us to do except for group of five and finish the game, uh, or get caught. Yeah, that works too. Man, we are pros at this game. But, <clears throat> yeah. Had we been grouped as four at least, we probably could have gotten something for our troubles. But we, me and Malphite were just overextended. And then Vi came in a little late. Uh, so, we traded one for one there. We get, I'm pretty sure we get a free dragon. Um, yeah, definitely free dragon. I mean, like, there's, uh, I honestly don't see a way for them to come back into the game. I mean, unless they just, like, pulled off, like, the ultimate, like, they got up. Okay, this is how they would be able to come back into the game, okay? They would have to make a pick on one of us, and then they'd have to group as five. And then win a 5v4. That would be the only way. And as you can see here, you know, like I said, Vire Malphite tanks it, Heimer Dinger turrets, and it just goes down super fast. So we get a free Baron. Uh, we had. We didn't really have that much ward control, but. And then we. <laughs> Malphite. Holy moly, this damage. So apparently our, our LeBlanc got shut down. It's kind of sad news. I think I'm off taking scuttle crab. Uh, you see me in the top right corner. I just sold uh, Sivir because I'm so far ahead she can't do anything. And then uh, these two, Vi and Malphite, they just killed whoever was over here. I want to say it was Wukong and Ari. <laughs> and then this split push Dong. He's just. Look at that hair. Look at this dude's hair. He's just a he's he is a pimp. That's all there is to say about it. So
So I mean, after this, you know, we got Baron. We should be grouping right now. Free game. I think I'm gonna be building into IE right now. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, at this point, like I said, you know, this game is way over now. I mean, we're 11,000 gold ahead. There's really nothing that they can do. And this game is really all attributed to, to two things right here. Wait. What? What? Hey, Lamau. Got me a kill. <laughs> uh, this game is just attributed to getting ganked spot lane and... Uh, you know, me and Malphite not dying while getting gay. And I feel so bad for that Sivir. She got deleted. Holy cow. Yeah. I should be on that turret down there. What am I doing? I'm just hesitating back and forth. Yeah, we should just leave. Oh, we should have left earlier. Okay, so from this point out, I mean, we're up 12k gold. A little under 12k gold, sorry. And, um, like, there's. When. When you have a Malphite support do that much damage to your top laner, and he is three levels under your top laner, y you know, you just know that <laughs> the game is over. So, you know, we look, so basically what we did is we took our Baron buff, we got two inhibitors, and then there's no reason for us to be pushing mid, there's no reason for us to be pushing top because we have super minions there and they have to send people there to clear it otherwise we'll just have minions and they'll just forever try to keep fighting us so we just siege bot lane uh we have a terrible siege comp not that much wave clear and i got ie okay so let's look let's look at my build path i went warp into phantom dancer I picked up shoes in between, and then I went IE instead of going uh, Last Whisper next. The reason why I decided to go IE, I mean, I have 12,000 gold. Uh, I, I just wanted to do damage, and if we look at their team comp, nobody has armor. The only person who has armor is uh, Thresh. He has a frozen heart, and we're just dancing. Like, we're so far, we've won this game already, that we were just sitting here dancing the whole time, waiting for Dragon to spawn. So, Thresh is the only one that has a, uh, armor item. Well, besides the Seeker's arm guard, but it looks like she just bought this. Um, so yeah. That's why I decided to go IE next, and because I was rich. Filthy, stinking rich. Um... Right here, when the Ari, I don't know if she went Abyssal Scepter after Namacon. I want to say she went Ludens, but I want to say that she should have gone Death Cap after Namacon because her team was losing and she was behind. And LeBlanc's damage is ridiculous right now. Um, I don't really like Abyssal Scepter as a that much that's just my personal opinion i guess in this situation it was good for her to get because we have three people in the heimerdinger leblanc and malphite uh that do ap damage but if she would have gone death cap after ludens uh probably would have helped her do more damage and secure those kills wow that was a good special by Sivir. It's annihilated. I just got deleted. He got deleted. 
they got deleted. Everybody gets deleted. And see, that was that's the thing that I was talking about. Is if they want to try to engage on us, like you just saw down here. Yeah, we had a huge team fight, but Sivir was up here wave playing the whole time. Just because we have two inhibitors down, that's how you like press your advantages. If they had they had to force a team fight a lot earlier, and then uh, maybe the minions wouldn't have been like a huge wave. But because they had just stalled for so long, and we waited for a perfect time to engage, so we were able. To yeah, I think we lost like three people there, but we were able to get a Nexus turret for that. And I think here, let's just fast forward this a little bit. Uh, we get a. Are we gonna Baron? Yeah. So this is how the game ends. Um. Free Baron again. Uh, one last team fight. Oh my gosh, LeBlanc doing the damages. So, that's basically the end of this game. Uh, if you like the commentary, please let me know what I could do better. Please, you know, like, share, subscribe, do all that goodness. Uh, it would really help me out a lot, and I'd greatly appreciate it at the same time. Uh, that was, as we watch the final fight here. Anything? Are we just gonna... Okay. For the ball. Hello? Hello? Wow. <laughs> the smell fight. And that's the end of the game, so... GG, uh, let me know what I can do better, uh, also let me know what champions I'd like to see, um, I'd love to try playing different champions, uh, comment below, and this is LOL Tugla OP, thanks for watching guys, have a good one.